feet. I'm in the rough and I'm kidding up. Yay! Um, I only have... <laughs> only. I've got three diamond paintings on the go at the moment. This will make my fourth. Obviously, I've got... At the moment, I've got Geisha. I've got the pink and grey glass. And I've got my big blank custom, which will be going forever by the feel of it. Um, and now, so I'll kit up the... Um, my leopard. So, this is a custom that I had done from Dime Moon Shop. I did have two other customs that I did. One is a lion cub and the other is a cheetah. And uh, I will say, if you like any of the three, I will pop links in up the top here somewhere um, so that you can see all of them. But I will put links down below so that you, if you want to purchase these, they are available from Diamond Shop and I do get an artist commission for them um, which is fantastic which I really do love the fact now going to this so this was uh, leopard in a tree yes personal photos so this was taken uh, from a open four-wheel drive vehicle in South Africa Kruger National Park was actually where this leopard was and this is a female and she had two cubs in the area not small cubs, but she had two young ones in the area, but we didn't see those, unfortunately. Anyway, go through what I used to kit up. Dye Moon Shop do their legends separate now. So what I'm able to do is I take the legend and I photocopy it. So then I can make labels. And that then means that when I finish my diamond painting, I always, when I frame them, I always stick this to the back just in case any drills come off in any process of it. Okay, now, next thing I'm using is the, this was my very first one of the um, 60 bottle zip case. Love these, I've got three of these and um, I do have a video showing my opinion on all my covers. Um, Zyron. The Zyron label maker, I do use the repositionable because what it means is when I take the labels off and bag them up to put them into my storage, I reposition and I'm able to put those labels directly onto um, the bags. I will say though, however, these labels, oh no, they are going to fit completely. Yep, they're the right size. Alright, so they use the repositionable. This is full. I've just got that so that you can see that you can get the repositional. I also have my box. That empty box comes in so handy and I'm still yet to do something with it. It is still plain brown. Um, I also have slightly diced up small pieces of dryer sheets. Um, for anything with static. I do find drills that have static are usually the better quality drills. I would expect some static in Dry Moon Shop because they will use really good quality. So this is going back to a very basic kit up instead of me just having a general conversation. I might throw in a general conversation but who knows. Um, photocopying that was quite easy uh, and I will when you use the Siren label maker, I have never been able to put this through and have it straight. So what I do is I cut it in half. I cut the labels in half, roughly. And that gives me the ability to get these all on. I do pop it in the middle and pull it through with the label on the top. And then, once that's through, I then add my second label, I'm trying to get that in the middle. And that gives me all mine on one go. What you will find is that every time you use it, you will get a big gap here, which is why I just add it on. Um, so then I'm not wasting too lots of that. Okay, so that's just a case of rubbing it. And peeling that off. 
Okay, so that's that's the labels. Um, now I used to have a mat under my desk, under me when I had the uh, other desk, but now that I have my big craft desk, I don't have the mat. So I'm just going to pop the leopard out the way because I don't want to cut my leopard. And I have two choices. You, you two, you can do two things. You can do use scissors or you can use. Um, what I use, which is the blade. This is where this little box comes in really handy. Um, we say Diamond Shop, they do, although yes, I've gone through them. Most of the time when you receive a Diamond Shop, their drills are in order, which is absolutely fantastic. So I am actually going to try to zoom you in here. Oh, huh, not with that, <laughs> one eye look now. Okay, so this is where this comes in handy. And I don't have my drip. There it is. Hang on. When is the reason why what this is for? So I've got 152. I will speed this process up. But I use that to uh, hold my um, hold the plastic bags and it doesn't make a mess on the desk and it's uh, nice to clean up. by accident um, which we all do you might not be able to see it but there's two different colors in there and what I've done is on the end I've got big dots 
which means it shows me that those two there um, are not right. So I actually need to go through that one and sort it, and that's the right colour for the uh, 602. Other things I did is just a single dot. So instead of, um, where are we going? Instead of just um, squeezing everything into one bottle, the single dot means that I have bags here. Then I have the other method, which is the two dots, which means I have two bottles of um, those drills. So that's how I, when you look at um, this one here has two dots. This is the one with two dots. The next container down, same as that one, two dots. Next container down. Um, that helps me keep those organised because I don't create labels for those. Because it's in the tubes, um, I have the I have the ability to store these in here. Some of them, a lot of them actually, I had four bags of colours and I probably could have fit three bags, but I don't, it's, it's quicker if I do it this way, um, and because I've got the dot on, the individual single dot on, I know that I've got more of those um, in here. Okay, so that's that side of it. Bags empty, I didn't need to use my um, dryer sheets. Shut those again. Now, this is where the box comes in handy. I will just flip that shut. The rubbish, especially with Diamond Shop, you get this bag. All the rubbish goes into that bag. So, when you kit up, you will see that there is excess bags. By putting them in the box, you've ended up with them taking up a small amount of space. And then, what I do is I empty them into there so you can see how much space they take up when they're not squashed into a box but what I do now is I squeeze this over and that goes in the bin like that and it doesn't take up half as much room as if it was just poured into a bin uh, so that's it heat it up that's for the rubbish bin which is right there. A couple of loose drills that I dropped. But I'm now kitted up to work on this guy. Uh, he will hang up on um, a coat hanger, which I will show you. Um, which I have shown before. But what I do is, uh, depending on how I work on him, I might work on him going this way. Gosh, I did spill drills, didn't I? And then what I will do is hang him up on a coat hanger like that. Um, what I mean by a coat hanger is a skirt hanger. He'll fit in my wardrobe like that. Bring it there, hang up. I might zoom you back out now. Okay, so that's, I'll clip it like that, uh, because if I put it on that way, it's there's too much overhang, and this will actually curl with the weight. So by putting it on that way, and working from this side across, so when I work on it, I'll work along here, and then here, then here, and when I hang it, it'll hang here. And the weight will actually help me with anything that if I happen to bend any of these drills or any of the canvas. But all ready to go. Let's, see. Let's just get this one here. Skirt hanger on there. And the legend I also put there with that one. Okay, so kit it up, good to go um, when I'm ready to start diamond painting this one, it's um, all set up. So yeah, I will uh, give me any comments, what do you think? This is my third, third of the customs. I have 
contact the Diamond Shop about my next custom, which is the one that I'll do as a giveaway as well. Um, so yeah, links down below to, if for these for the three that I've done like this. Uh, leave me a comment, thumbs up, thumbs down. Your call. <laughs> and uh, yeah, subscribe and uh, hit the bell to be notified of uh, more uh, uploads as I produce. Okay, bye for now.